Having too much phosphorus causes a loss of natural communities of algae that are one of the defining characteristics of the Everglades. It also leads to less dissolved oxygen that many fish need and changes native plant communities, which results in a loss of open water areas where wading birds feed. Phosphorus is used in many fertilizers. This becomes a problem when runoff containing this phosphorus fertilizer reaches the Everglades. The increase in phosphorus causes more algae to grow rapidly. These algal blooms block sunlight, stopping photosynthesis from occurring. Oxygen already located in the water is then used up, causing fish to die. Under normal water flows, roughly two-thirds of the total phosphorus load to lakes and rivers comes from non-point sources such as runoff from pastures and croplands, atmospheric deposition, and stream bank erosion. Phosphorus loading contributed by runoff from pastures and croplands is the largest source of non-point phosphorus on a statewide basis. Some algal blooms are harmful to humans because they produce elevated toxins and bacterial growth that can make people sick if they come into contact with polluted water, consume tainted fish or shellfish, or drink contaminated water. It is important to address phosphorus in the Everglades because significant increases in algal harm water quality, food resources and habitats, and decrease the oxygen that fish and other aquatic life need to survive. Large growths of algal are called algal blooms and they can severely reduce or eliminate oxygen in the water. Currently there are chemical treatments to get rid of phosphorus in water sources. Denitrification and sulfur removing bacteria are being used to help water sources. One way that you can help the Everglades is by using your car less. You can also reduce, reuse, and recycle, as recycling can save a few thousand pounds of carbon dioxide per year. You can also plant trees, as a single tree can help to absorb the harmful effects of carbon dioxide in the air. Everglades National Park is an impressive collection of nationally and internationally significant resources. It has the largest stand of sawgrass prey in North America, the largest protective mangrove forest in the Northern Hemisphere, the vast estuary of Florida Bay, and cultural resources chronicling approximately 10,000 years of human history. It's for these reasons that we should strive to protect the Everglades National Park.